people you guided, sir? Uh, uh, for ten people pe- direct. Okay. And direct means I was guide to them officially, and fifteen people indirect. Out of the three are in US. I used I think to visit I, my son I, and help them to I, do their I, work. I heard that you guided some of the officers also. That person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one air commodore, Dr. Sanjay. He was doctorate in electronics from IIT Delhi, and he did his second management uh, leadership uh, PhD in Bangalore under my guidance in five years. And he is a vice chancellor of third university. Two tenure he completed. Third one, MIT, uh, Kolkata. MIT, Kolkata. Chancellor. Okay. Dr. Sanjay Kumar. So what? What is the name, sir? Dr. Sanjay Kumar. Is he a civilian or Air Force? Officer? No, no. Air Force. He was Air Commodore Sanjay Kumar here. Ah, Air Commodore Sanjay Kumar. Okay. So and Thank then you, one sir. of the wing commander was. Uh, it's, a, it's a rare thing uh, to understand that uh, a sergeant uh, became a guide to an Air Commodore. Uh, but I am really afraid when he comes to know I am sergeant, what would be his reaction? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but no. It is not a question of rank. It is a question of no uh, academic excellence. <laughs> Dear, uh, you know, I was in selection committee. I interviewed him and rejected him. <laughs> why bad. because? Very no, bad. Why because it's not that because he is air commodore. Because he was already doctorate. I see. Okay. So I said, why he should block the seat for somebody? Okay. And uh, why? Then he went back to vice chancellor and told him, tell me what is my mistake or fault. Therefore, you are not selecting. And he said, "I don't have a guide for you. Okay. You are such a senior officer, uh-huh. and I don't have any senior person to guide you here except Dr. K. S. Gupta, and who has already rejected." But then, but, uh, then, but then, how did you start again after that? Uh, then he called me vice chancellor. He says, "Sir, he is an, around my neck, holding <laughs> myself, not allowing me breathe." He said, "Tell me my mistakes, and you can only tell the mistake." I said, "There's no mistake. Reason is only that he is already doctor." But he says, "We cannot refuse on this." So it was the second doctor for him. Ah, okay. So he says, "I cannot refuse him admission. Whoever may be, he is doctor, but he wants." Then I said, "Oh," and then he says, "Okay, sir, if you don't want to take directly, you become his main guide. I will become co guide." I said, "No, I don't need." Then you leave him. I will become guide. And then he came to me, and then we started the journey. But uh, did he know that you were a sergeant? No, till now he doesn't know. But well, did you know that he was a air commodore? I know that. That's okay, you knew it. Yes. I knew he was here in K. Dayar. It is called one of the establishment which is closed now because my no, youngest uh, brother. Yeah, with a due respect uh, to our uh, air commodore sir, but it's really it's an irony of life that uh, no, things can turn around. No, a sergeant. No, he came to me twice before I accepted him. He says, Doctor Gupta, nobody can guide me. Nobody is there to guide me. I want to do PhD under your guidance, and I know the moment, the kind of question and clarification you talk during interview. I understand you are only the person who can help. So now he is the vice chancellor. Cal- he he, he Cal- left Cal- Air Force and became vice six years over. He left Air Force. Okay. And uh, he became vice chancellor one university in Raipur, that ITM. Then uh, one more uh, I forget symbiosis, and then okay. now he is a MIT. He still is a is a friend of you and in touch with. You. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He is. His son is IAS. His daughter has done MBA and uh, working some other company. Okay, great, sir. And his son was IAS before he started PhD. Even during that time itself, he was IAS. Oh, quite so interesting. So quite growing that way. Wonderful officer. He has done wonderful work also. I am not having any in that way. Regret by taking him as a, my student because he has done the work. This one point was also in my mind whether he will be able to do the good work. But anyway, he has done. Okay. And he used to come. I told my guy, my condition is every month you have to sit down two hours with me and discuss. Okay. So he has done sincerely for two years. Then he was posted to Pune BRD. Then of course it was on phone. And then he has done good work. Good sir. Very so good. these things sir. are uh, you know I have not seen Air Commodore or CEO or AOC room except when Guru Captain Ram Das invited me for discussion because I never have been key early. Or never have committed any mistake. Thereby, charge seat is okay. taking to person to CEO. So somehow I couldn't get opportunity. And uh, definitely, it's a matter of pride that I could. Have. Even in uh, Alanka AFTC, AFTC, I was very regular faculty for their program. And it so happened, five years I was continuously junior manager program. They used to come. They became air commodore and came to the commandant program. And they said, Doctor Gupta, class, we want to conduct in afternoon also because okay. the same empowerment I used to conduct. Oh. So they will provide me lunch with commandant and then conduct three hours free of cost post lunch. That's good. That so kind of been... the interest used to be there in them. 
and they were so but of course by joining management schools i lost the contact and now it is not there up till now so sir continue the will you continue the presentation or we can come on uh, direct whatever i think that would be yeah, better keeping is uh, here i doubt sir challenges you have established your challenges what are the keeping ecg high sir ecg means ah uh, ecg term uh, i could coin during conducting the program of doctors of government of karnataka uh-huh. i conducted some 25 program two days each for them on empowerment and there i said ecg the moment they say ecg oh you are going to teach me ecg i said listen ecg is called enjoying contributing and growing oh now this fundamental three terms en- are so close yeah, enjoy if stands for enjoying contribution and, and growing, growing. if you don't enjoy you cannot contribute and you cannot grow Sir. if you don't contribute you cannot enjoy grow and you cannot enjoy and if so you all the three grow, are complementary all three are together and yes. if you understand which one is lacking grow it up you will keep your ecg high and <laughs> therefore you will continue to better great and try contribute and grow yeah, grow yeah. doesn't okay. mean only promotion but your own growth itself is a big achievement so uh, challenges i was talking and same way establishing challenge was in management academy also and uh, same way it was in b school or anywhere you go you face those challenges internal person is given priority favor support and external is treated as a outsider and this is like always i give the example you go to the railway compartment be bit late to enter late in the sense before starting but enter you will see that your seat under your seat everybody will occupy the space with luggage and <laughs> then though you have got the seat they will think this fellow is villain this fellow is disturbing my luggage and they will not allow Okay. Most of the time, you will find this kind of fight will be there initially, and then later on they may become good friends. But course, that time, it is as a outsider intruder to their area and disturbing. Same thing okay. happen everywhere. Same phenomena. So, as I said, management academy or management schools or anywhere, I have to take learn faster, take the role in my hand and perform best, and then only I'll be able to take charge. and i take charge i never wait for somebody to give me the charge the moment i i take charge i contribute and then so everything in a chair i have contributed multiplied by 100 of my salary i have taken multiplied by 100 i have contributed by so that's how the proud and i have a pride in my approaches also now time go fast uh, moving faster these were the learning enforcement of course a apart- leadership opportunity See leadership. All this I have been having from my childhood. I was leader for my uh, what is called the Mohalla children in my village. I used to be leader in my class right from the class one to I. I, I so I used to be monitor in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the classes up to say eight. And then of course there are no monitors in Bandal. Nine, ten, I was not studying in the oh, school. You were a leader, almost a so born leader. So leadership has to be has been from the childhood. but however i got always opportunities to hone it sign it during my air force environment because environment provides you opportunity and you encourage them same way organizing capability i call it resourcefulness understanding where is the resource then you need not worry to own it you can use it and that is what i used to do everywhere problem solver nobody wants any problem creator and the moment you become a problem solver you are loved automatically by everyone and second thing by Correct. not becoming problem solver you are not otherwise i mean i always say by default you are a problem creator you <laughs> cannot think i am neutral and okay. therefore must become a problem solver and the moment you are problem solver everybody likes and that's what i any boss and every boss i have never allowed them to take the bothersan and i used to tell them if you remember the thing to be done by me you are doing committing a mistake please don't remember because if two people are doing the same job both are incompetent and i am not when i say yes i am competent enough okay do you don't remember don't need to remind me i'll do it before commitment and that is what i enjoy i become empowered and they become another fund of empowerment is from we are born dependent learn to become independent and understand the interdependence then we yeah. are empowered very well now, said now yeah. i know that where i should be independent and where i should be interdependent 
suppose in office support a typist is able to type faster in the computer he can type better and faster than me then his help is useful then i waste my time at the same time what i am supposed to do if i am doing better and committing that that is called the interdependence we have to, we should know and respect everybody everybody because every human being is important people normally ignore the people who are at the gate people who are at the support service people are at the helper people are at the maintenance of office if they are ignored but i am the first person to used to help them first and they are the prime people who whose help is keeping me to do my job better one I day think, i think it's like cultivating the attitude of gratitude for everything gratitude not only gratitude respect to them for their yeah. uh, work if they don't do let us say maintenance or uh, we call it you know uh, sweeper used to be called if he doesn't come and doesn't clean the area you remember him 10 times and if he is cleaning you never remember so that's the kind of approach has to change and oh. i used to give the moment i left management academy people were this category of people helping people were crying in tears they say nobody is there to look after us now that's the kind of affection i got and whenever i visited it is in bangalore only whenever i visited they would leave everything and run behind me and grow me and discuss and talk to me and be happy by seeing when they become happy i feel i am in their heart and that is what again indirectly help us to grow in life okay. the good we say we say have wish you happy journey it means that i am praying i am wishing that everything should be good in your path of journey and that is what helps great sir great when i am able to help somebody his wishes are helping me and many more greater job i have done than being in academy my goodness i feel so proud that those people whom i help they are addition and manager deputy and manager chair now they are the pillars of a chair otherwise they would have been sent out from a chair if i am not oh. I That hope you help so many of our air warriors to get the job in HR. More also. than all, I lost the count. Whosoever comes to me, I came to know, or they come to know. Just I will prepare them and tell the chairman of committee you test him. Okay. That's all. The moment Gupta so, says good. they know very that good. capability good. of this person will be best. That used to be my why my word confident to them that this fellow and people have done wonderful because they have a capability I know. So their capability. has to be little bit supported and they do wonder even now also they are retiring some of them otherwise still working so and no, one how, is, now having helped so many in preparing for the interview and also in getting the jobs particular air warriors how do you feel about it sir definitely i feel that i have done the wonderful thing for both organization as a deputy manager or manager in organization for getting a good person and for the person who has a capability to bring him nothing else i am only bridging the little bit of the gap bridging so the gap. that these two match okay. i have not done favor to anyone so i never how, say how, how do, you, uh, do you feel happy satisfied or fulfilled yes. fulfilled for, um, my goodness i told you <laughs> now this has come as an ancestor property to me oh. my father you know a scavenger they will not be allowed to stay within the village group and my village was having some 250 to 300 houses mm -hmm. they were about uh, 200 meter outside the village mm -hmm. now one of them is falling sick my father used to take them on cycle and get them medicine from 3 and 3 km away hospital and help them always and that has that has come in my blood he was true gandhian he used to sit between indra and firoz in allahabad okay and didn't take anything they wanted to give him he didn't take great great he said no as a teacher i am satisfied happy and with 5 rupees salary i am able to save 2 rupees i am going back he came back good sir good so that has come always so helping the family values family it, 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 this is the two things i have got ancestral property one is helping others another is teaching so and values, this is my greatest the, property values you embed out of your family value system greatest property of myself i am having which nobody can snatch oh great it always great. grows so these kind of things always help and same thing so i understand the requirement flexibly modify the rules and regulation of company as i told you i have come convince so many people for my phd even getting within 5 minutes sponsorship from air force the oh, all great. this empowered me 
and that is how you know very first batch of management trainee 16 management trainee were being sent out because of the eyesight issue which was not matching the requirement of hospital okay then i made a committee became chairman brought doctor because brought one faculty and modified the what is called yes. the standard of testing for i because they were of air force standard okay and being in hl it is not required i got them modified and retained 13 people three i couldn't so oh, great helping now people now these 13 people they are a pillar for hl because they couldn't get the job any other place easily because of medical okay so i have seen the selfishness of my organization not organ in because organization spend 5 lakhs per candidate to bring up to here okay going to all the places in india to select them best one and then leaving from here same way there was one more occasion where uh, intense uh, score of btec must be 75% marks average and we used to select in june result will come in august four people of pune university got 68 67 and they were sent out then very quickly within two days i collected all the universities who is uh, management any available their highest score and pune university highest score and normalize and shown them pune university highest score 63% is equal to sorry 70% used to be the minimum 63% equal to 70% of any other university therefore these students have much better score submitted a note said it got a special approval and left captain really great sir helping people so all the these time these things you know you can imagine that breaking the boundaries rules regulation and changing them and hence then everybody is affected afterwards so many got benefit out of that so flexibly changing the policies also make them to help and that is what i told you when there is no policy i got sponsorship automatically i blend bend the policies and affected the policies every year i will change three four policies of organization certainly <laughs> with a view to have the people not deserve that's people. all great sir okay this this one sir if you if we run through these things learning from iaf Because yeah leadership i told you that all this were have available but i got opportunity to hone them everywhere i have been teaching that so now opinion. you mean uh, out of your experience air force you learned the leadership qualities organizing Much, capabilities no, learning means it is became better and given opportunity to experiment and uh, you know uh, experience uh, or refine your already refine. You, know, you are right refine, policy kind of refinement policing these skills yeah. and capability problem solver development of self and others team, team building reinforcement of personal values faster learn fast learner learner converting challenges into opportunities this is great so that's so what i know so the challenge comes if you are looking at a challenge will be i mean looking at a problem will never approach but yeah, yeah, yeah. challenge so, will approach yeah, we, i really we appreciate sir from your point of view for these great learnings i think which we did not know all of them now i think we are getting because of uh, your uh, webinar definitely uh, everybody got this opportunity i have not one only got it only thing i utilize more we may not be able to articulate the way articulate. you articulate yeah, that is everybody that's what i say sir. that in air force technical area most of the leadership all learning or technical capabilities are with the men then officer because officer has to look into management aspect okay correct Not that is the deep into the technical capabilities whereas the men are the technical expert but that expertise and with that only uh, you know some of the people have grown much better in civil life and most of them one let me tell you one more incident sir. so uh, during this one tenure one of my again as you i i told you people used to run to me for help hmm. so one person by name walsalan ex sergeant he his interview was just next day Okay. and i was not having time to help him to develop okay. and one of my colleague from my department approach gupta ji please help him he is from air force and my neighbor and he has interview tomorrow then i found out who is the chairman and simply i challenge him you just test him he is the best one mm-hmm. and you know by name he was matching with one of my group 2 and group 1 course mate who was best in trade during group 2 okay so i told him he was best in trade in group 2 and i know him very well you test him and he got appointment 
Now I am informing through that person. Please ask him to meet me, and he is not meeting me because he doesn't know me personally. I am thinking the same word, Salam. He is a different word, Salam. After that, he took me to him, and then I saw who got different words. It doesn't matter. Now he said, "Sir, I'm a watch repairer. Past three years, I've been out of job and doing only watch repairing. I can only contribute your watches to be repaired by me always. Of course, he also retired now. So okay. my point is that I was not distinguishing between who and what. He is ex Air Force. Come, whatever best possible, provide the support and help me." Great, great, that's great. And I was successful, hundred percent successful. Who ever came to me, they got appointed in a chair, somehow or other. So, so uh, yeah, any yeah. question, anything. Now once, uh, once I can, 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 I will be very happy this? to. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, sir, for you uh, know uh, explaining your wonderful journey in the Air Force and also outside the Air Force, and uh, so uh, a kind of. Uh, No, it's a great learning from you. Out of that, now what all the qualities you have uh, articulated out of Air Force uh, to be learned by everybody. And uh, now, so how? Uh, let me did... explain you one more occasion. Ah. Uh -huh. As a group two, I was in NATO squadron, 15 squadron, and there was one fighter pilot, flight lieutenant R P Singh. He used to be adjutant also sometimes. Mm. So he wanted to uh, do A M I. Okay. And he came to know that I can help him in mathematics. So he sent the work through somebody, and you can understand the kind of gap we have. I said, "Sorry, I I cannot go and teach officer." अच्छा वही है वही. That uh, you know, flight sergeant he go gone and reported him. Oh. That Gupta hmm. is telling I cannot teach officer. I am hmm. teacher. I have been teaching, but I cannot. Then he called me as adjutant. He was there. He called me in office. And immediately he stood up from the chair the moment I reach, and then he said, "Please sit down." I said, "No, sir, thank you." He said, "No, please sit down." He made me to sit down and then sat down, and he says, "I respect your sentiments that you are a teacher, and I give you proper respect as a teacher, and I need your help to do my this mathematics paper in MI." And then I accepted. I said, "Yes." He will call me in office. Ask me the doubt. Sometimes he will come on the air, uh, flying, you know, checking, and then he will put his uh, notebook on the uh, wing and ask me the doubt. Okay. That kind of commitment he has. And when I was coming for uh, conversion, he says, "I am sorry to leave you, but it's matter of your career. But I will not get a person like you to help me." I still remember flight lieutenant R P Singh. He was there. Yeah. So That's... question is that I am keeping my respect. With me and with my approach, I am not insulting somebody, but I said I am a teacher. I can teach, but I won't be able to teach them. So he understood the kind of communication, and then he showed me the proper regard, and he got it. Whatever I could. So he, he became a good student. Actually. Yeah, definitely. He, I was there beyond about a six, seven, eight months almost okay. before coming to conversion to use to help him in math. Okay, sir. Then okay. Now uh, I just would like to ask uh, a few questions before we open it to our other uh, members of our family. Welcome, sir. Now, what if we were to say only one quality which helped you to navigate your life throughout your civil career out of Air Force? That is key takeaway from the Air Force. What would it be? Again, I give the value to the teaching, teaching skill, teaching orientation, anything I am learning for teaching. Now teaching that is your so, forte. Teaching has been your forte, but out of air force, what is the? The leadership uh, leadership capability develop are very very useful everywhere. Okay. Acha, and you the have, moment uh, you take yes. the leadership, people are there to follow. There is a shortage of leaders, not followers. Okay. And so, I have done this experiment. Three four people put in line, wait for ten minutes. Another ten people will stand. Ask them why they don't know. That is the kind of followers available. You become okay. leader, people will automatically join and follow you. So, so this, how, yeah, yeah. You, I think how can one become a leader? I think being the empowerment guru, how can a person become a leader? Otherwise, basic is the self confidence and few the quality of as I said, discipline, punctuality, and commitment. The moment I saw that, people start following. These three things itself: discipline, punctuality, and commitment. And everybody has in Air Force. Most of the people are punctual. Not all. Most of the people most. have been punctual, <laughs> and with okay. that, most people punctual. They have been. Only thing they could recognize the power of this punctuality. 
which we can exhibit in civil most of the people are not punctual so well, uh, yeah now we have come to that important question you served in air force uh, for one and a half decade so you yes, have sir. also served in a teaching profession almost for about uh, five decades right so the which one how do you know compare with them what is comparing the air force incomparable life? incomparable huh? the air force our people are same but the culture environment is different mm mm-hmm. so that is why it's a one family kind of thing whereas a chel i came i forget a chel that they leave because <laughs> okay. the cultural parameters are not binding me okay the they bond are, is we develop in service people are people but they are bound together by cultural forces of any organization or their right? value system values, culture everything the way i always say this is a different world and coming out of that world become a greatest challenge to people to grow or settle or you know perform or anything it's a greatest challenge because of the different world okay. they are again same thing commitment one person will say here i will do it and they will do it here you don't know how many times they commit and they will not do it <laughs> so no commitment yes. every so, time they will bring new excuse okay okay so this is the main difference between the psychology of our air force and the people from out of air force so lack of co- commitment is the lack main lack of discipline lack of commitment can automatically build on that okay. so so i think uh, you re- i remember you telling that uh, you became a guide to an air commodore being a sergeant uh, becoming a guide to an air commodore so so how did you feel at that point of time time sir yeah feeling is always good see by the time i have guided another 10 people i was not having the kind of good feeling a very excellent feeling about i am guiding air commodore however i was other side i have bit anxiety if he comes from what he will be feeling uh-huh. yeah, if i am a sergeant <laughs> <laughs> okay so you are feeling happy no did you not have that belief as to no no i how can a sergeant not that or not i didn't have because my confidence on my capabilities has been much greater and higher side so there no question of becoming guide and guide him the kind of see being a phd holder he put a proposal i made nice design with the red ink on the complete proposal okay. and that is self brought him to the level where he is supposed to start because the way he made it he was thinking i am already phd but the okay. error or mistakes were plenty okay so, so that's yeah. what i know that how to you know, motivate and how to navigate and bring him to the result which i want i all think all uh, excellent uh, phd world class phd they have done and the comment from all authorities have been wonderful i think sir it's a great, rare opportunity for anybody to do a phd kind of study on empowerment so em- empowerment means in, it is there in uh, different perspectives with the uh, different context now even i also i also under i have gone undergone this coaching wherein they teach us all about our belief system all about value system how no no the coding empowering course how to as you understand you know reprogram your mind getting out yeah, of the I, limiting beliefs yeah and, i you know, do not reprogramming yes sir yeah yeah that's I what i'm asking not the right person <laughs> i did only i am a lk student in that <laughs> see i so, have connected one program for no not one first program when i conducted mm-hmm. reprogramming parents mind to empower teens and with one year 60s scoring scholars jump to 80s and 90s yeah with there little, definitely there would be a with change with little tuning of parents because that is only one controllable factor rest all are uncontrollable whether school peers teacher environment gadget technology all are uncontrollable yeah. a little coaching or uh, not empowering with tuning the parents to help children to grow better has changed their so Then now sir, sir if i want to know something about empowerment so that i can get rid of my you know negative beliefs i i become empo- no i i develop empowering beliefs re- reprogram my mind you know with empowering beliefs so can you arrange a, co- a class for all our uh, air warriors some day after definitely definitely i will be very happy to conduct but it's required longer duration program it cannot be one or two hours okay because normally i used to do 12 hours to 18 hours program my god okay now and especially 12 hours used to be because in night our mind assimilate the things and bring to the 
you know, what is called the, to the level of understanding and sharpening. And I used to give some exercise even now to do them at homework. Now all will not do the homework, but who have done they share the result of homework, these people also get understanding that yes, I could have done it. So I can do it. Yeah, 12 hours, sir. How, how is it? 12 hours in one Yeah, 12 day? hours. How many yeah. days, sir? How many days? If two hours every day, six days. Like a one week program, kind of. One week program. So I think uh, if you can, then will you charge anything for our air warrants? If you Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think you can charge. <laughs> of course, it's costly, I know, but it's important. I, I also understand the importance of, you know, reprogram and mindset. From I know that to, automatically yes. you all will pay when you undergo complete program. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. don't charge. We'll have a, we'll have a separate, <laughs> I yes, don't sir. charge. Let me tell you one more thing. Any sir. training program, I never ask them how much I should charge. I ask them how much you want to pay. Commit it and pay it. Okay. Even today there was one discussion for one uh, session chair as well as uh, keynote address on industry 5.0 impact on education on 27th. They asked me, sir, what is your charge? I said, you tell me what you want to pay. They said, I'll pay you this much. I said, go ahead. Thank you. No issue. Okay. I've, so never, that... I've never, I've never, I've uh, never bargained on the charge. Or otherwise, you never change money. You no, change a I never. And the fee has been as high as 30,000 per day. I got it long back. Oh, that's great. That's, that means it is worth. It is, it worth. is worth. Yeah. Variation, no pay to 30,000 per day. Even no pay, I did do the program. I, I, I sir, I, 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 yes, definitely I will do it. Only thing you have to organize and work on it. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll do the because I am personally interested. I know that in, in America and all, that the coaching, they call it a coaching session. For that, they charge more than six lakhs for six days. More than yes, six lakhs. Yes, you are lakhs. right. My daughter-in-law attended a program two days that. during 2000. Like Tony Robbins and all, they charge so yeah, much. Tony Robbins and all, world famous. I'm talking about yeah. one uh, agency it's called Decker.com in San Francisco. They conducted two days program. That. My daughter-in-law was in uh, one of the software company, VMware. That. So they organized the program. And 90% program, what they conducted, content-wise, method-wise, was I have been conducting 30 years before. Same. <laughs> okay. I was really Great. thrilled to understand that world-level program I have been conducting so far. Oh. So, so I think that, we will be fortunate to have your call and learn the things, you know, empowering our own mindset. Definitely. So I will be very happy because, because who has given me? Yeah, I am yeah. am today, Naturally. So giving back to society, the kind of CSR giving activity, back to the society, back to society anywhere and everywhere. Sir. That's what I say. I never charge. People say I will pay this much. Go ahead. So I think you I might. I cannot pay. Go ahead. So you must have had the had the plan and you know, a design of the content and all. You, you must be having that uh, program. Yeah, you decide. I will be able to do that. Uh, okay, sir. I will. I'll come back to you on that. I'll uh, ask uh, our members also. Okay. I, I'm very much interested. But it's, it is required for everybody. Even when I'm I went sure. For, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So I, I also underwent that, you know, life coach, transformation coach. Now, let me so, tell you, during my study, I found only 11% people are empowered and empowering. Yes, sir. Another 9% are empowering, but not empowered. Mm. Another 10% are empowered, but not empowering. So, yeah, well, but one that really, link is so missing. Only 11% are both. Empowered and empowering. We need so, to learn both. Yeah. yeah. How to but it's a, very much essential. Being a lead, you should be empowered at the same time empowering, empowering. to the followers. Yeah. So now is that's why it, it has been a very great importance in everybody's life. So running a family, being a parent, also it, it means a lot. If he is having that empowering beliefs in him, he can you know, same the pass on to the children or the followers or the staff members. Definitely, so, definitely, it can be. It can be. Yeah. So, okay, so thank you. We'll take it on that. And uh, now uh, let us open it to our uh, war heroes first. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Professor Dr. K. Gupta sir, for your uh, wonderful, empowering lecture today. And I think we have to learn more and more from you so that we can also grow and contribute. And you can also, what is that, ECG? <laughs> Enjoying, <laughs> contributing, contributing and, growing. and growing. So. I think that's where the growth is. That's where the happiness is. One more formula is there, my own name, KSG. Sir. Knowing, sharing, and growing. 
Ah, yes, yes. So it's all of learning and growing and sharing. It's, it's If a great. If I don't uh, learn new thing, what I will share? Yes. And if sir, I don't yes. share, it is waste. And of both course. Will grow me. Yes, sir. That's what now. Once you learn, you have to teach. So you are teaching us now. So now it's a great thing. So, sir, uh, I so uh, I request our uh, group captain Das, sir. Sir, I salute you. I am inspired by your heroic. contribution in the hero of longa vela yeah. thank you sir and i only heard i have joined post war and retired before war yes sir das sir okay jai hind jai hind sir i am the professor gupta sir it is very very heartening you know the last point which you made it was the same thing which i learned when i was a cadet undergoing intermediate training in flying my instructor told me das if you want to learn keep it otherwise you are not learn and that as of now after listening to your complete talk i am more than ever convinced and i have been telling the same thing to my children i said if you want to learn teach somebody otherwise you don't learn yes so i am thrilled to hear professor talk on this particular thank you, subject sir, thank you i am more than convinced that that is the truth and i am very happy to have listened patiently for the last one and a half hours thank you very much uh, gupta sir and uh, thank you tvr sir it was a wonderful thing and i think i am going to pass this complete thing to my son and daughter okay. thank you so much may i take leave of you now yeah thank yeah you, sir, sir now now okay, sir yeah we can have a call with thank even so with our uh, sir we can have that no training thank session for 12 hours with all our other family members also so that we all become powerful in our mindset <laughs> okay of course you are a hero i have no doubt about it <laughs> no my heroism didn't come just like that <laughs> yes, sir. i never wanted to be a hero sir and i never fought a war because i wanted to become a hero sir no it was just that at that moment what i have to do i did it Salute to most of the people you. like that only, sir. <laughs> those who want to become hero, they cannot become. But those who focus on achieving and completing their duty and task, subsequently it is a follow-up yeah, and I, outcome of that. Yeah, I think, sir. In this context, I remember the saying: the hardest battles are not fought in the battlefield; they are fought in the mind. Correct. Now that's where that empowering the kind of thing will help us. so people knowingly or unconsciously develop lot of you know limiting beliefs i am not worthy the i am i can't do it how can i do it kind of thing so if you have to get our negative things so you have, have you have to get rid of those negative beliefs or limiting beliefs so the empowering must be done that is a kind of reprogramming of our mind should be done i think that we can get it through our uh, professor sir yes sir that is thank you that is right right sir thank you sir so uh, thank you uh, i'll take you sir thank you and i am honored uh, next uh, sir uh, karnik sir anybody can ask uh, any question yeah uh, uh, palinga sir yeah um, doctor before i start i bow my head before you earlier i mentioned i bow my head before two profession one is a medical who they are the human saver and second is a teacher they are the architect of new generation or people around and you are one among them that is why i bow my head before you and thank then you, i thank you. then i speak sir uh, sir you are passion towards education right from childhood sir it's it's a it's a really really uh, admirable one because right from third standard you got a benefit of your pay as a teacher i mean the parents as a teacher plus your own potential with that you started teaching profession from the third standard until now you are going to teach us also as a 
PBR requested. <laughs> <laughs> then you know the there are lo- when you, when you are narrating your journey, the lot of your thoughts were matching with my thoughts, and that's why I was very much influenced with your uh, narration, sir. Uh, you know the you mentioned that human respect human human being. I I I am also of same opinion. Respect human and their values. Each person is important at his oblique at her place. Very right, sir. And that is why we should respect the people. That is what my thinking. Also, you were very straightforward. Right is right, wrong is wrong. That I have also experienced in Indian Air Force as well as in corporate sector. That is BP Sir Bharat Petroleum. Because that initial yes, stage, yeah, initial stage. Wherever I used to go, I used to project my opinion or my uh, my thought, and it was not being accepted at initial stage. But later on, the seniors they realized that whatever you are saying is right, and they accepted and they started loving me. Even even BPSL Bharat Petroleum also same thing happened. And as on today, we are we are in touch with these people. third point sir you are an excellent communicator is your communication excellent communication you achieve two things you could convince your superior and you could remove hurdles of your path and you reach to your goal whether it is a phd whether it is mi or whatever goals or you are focusing you could reach with excellent communication second point you are an excellent communicator our communication whereby you could teach the student and student received your communication they have moved all over the world so you are excellent communicator on both the path receiving as well as communicating to other it's a hats off to you sir now no, last point sir i would say that you you had been going to aptc for uh, lectures or whatever uh, programs and all i i felt very proud because the aptc was born in 1949 and that time the apprenticeship was introduced and i i am one among them i, yes, I was so i joined nice. as a, i was joined as a apprentice in 1961 but uh, incidentally sir after 6 to 2 war apprenticeship was closed but officer trainings are still on but all the apprentices many apprentices they grow within the services many people have become avm air commander colonels whatever rank and many people have grown outside many people have become general manager professor doctorate what lot of we i mean people are so and you were going to that institute and, and you were taking the classes for the officer i feel very proud sir very proud sir i am very uh, proud sir proud they used you, to pay me 250 rupees check <laughs> and know. i used to tell them please don't pay Yeah. They say no. I have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll narrate one incident. So my batch, my batchmate, he was a he was thinking what different and uh, what happened. He wanted to get the discharge. He, he got the discharge, and in one of the four, he became Veda Veda teacher. He is excellent in Bangalore. He is doing a lot of work. And there was one platform. His education teacher that was a squadron leader, Chandran. and this mr sharma they were on same platform and same chair and when he narrated sir you were my teacher and he was a taken aback see that's what the airman after going out they reached to very different high level we really appreciate and last question sir uh, our last two point ki human psychology or human absorbing capacity in one classroom there are 75 students one student scores a highest mark and other student scores a 75th rank this yes, is sir. a god this is a god given i'm i'm just sharing that it's a god given absorbing capacity and that is why god has well balanced one is a pilot other is a cobbler one is a barber one is a lawyer chartered accountant and see these different people they are depend on each other you rightly mention agar ek din sweeper nahi aaya to his absence field so everybody is important at his oblique her place the and we should we should respect his pro, his oblique her profession your theory your everything was excellent and it was almost matching with my thought 
so nice of talking I'm to you i'm happy to know <laughs> so <laughs> nice <laughs> I, yeah. I'm really grateful I'm to you. I'm parallel sir. with your thinking and my yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. similar. Yeah, Thank sir, you, sir. It's really so nice of you, and I wish you all the best in your Thank journey you, ahead. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, Thank you.